Hey guys, I'm back with another message, another word. So, um, I actually was going to put this out on, I, I recorded this, like, f- Saturday, and then I was going to put it out, it was, was going to be released on Sunday, but then it was Easter, so I was just like, let me, let me just wait, let Easter be, Easter have its day, and then, um, through the past few days, I've been kind of busy, so I'm back, and I'm just going to re-record this word, and there is going to be an extended part to this, and I don't know if I'm going to re-record it, but if I don't, then... You're gonna see me with um, my braids. Just know that it's because I, I already recorded this pre- this message previously. But I'm re-recording this part specifically because it was too much, um, too much background noise. I know um, a lot. Of, I've been getting some comments about the volume. So uh, yeah, but so this word is just going to be very very quick. Um, it's based off of a dream that I had. Okay, so I had this dream on April third, and so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna read out the dream first. I read it down, but I'm looking at my. I dropped it to myself and I'm not going to share like the whole dream I'm just going to share y'all the part the the main part which is the part for this message um okay so overall first of all I was in this dream I was at like a, a school event or something um and so I was leaving the building I was leaving the event and I was going back to my car um and so as I'm I was walking with another person and as we were walking to our cars um we got to like the parking 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 lot area and there was some person in the um in the parking lot doing backflips across maybe like five or six parking spaces and then they had they had the those parking spaces blocked off with orange cones um and so she just she was just going like non-stop um they had that blocked off and so because they had those uh, parking spaces blocked off and it was like it was supposed to be a two way where people can go this way and people c- can come this way but because because of that they couldn't so it was kind of like backed up for the people who were coming this way and I was walking that way me and the girl me and the other girl who I was walking with was walking this way so by this point me and the girl who I was walking with we were running because like pe- people started running trying to like you know how you're driving in a car and like a mailman is stopped so you try to go around it before cars come on the other lane so we was like running trying to like get past get past the girl doing the backflips but bef- so that we won't be held up because they were held up on that side um so it kind of was like we was ducking and dodging cars and cars were ducking and dodging us trying to get past on both lanes we were running um trying to get past so then that's when she pulled up speed she already speeding down the thing she pulled up she pull up and she swing. She swinging at part in one of the parking spaces. She swing her door open, hop, hop out of the car, jump out of the car, and start running the same direction we're running. So we started running faster, and then so we got to the area at the same time. I got to my car and she was going to the car parked next to where my car was parked at. So she's standing outside of the car next to me, and um, so she's sitting outside of the car and, she, and there's people inside the car. I can't. I don't recall how many people was in the car, but it was more than one person because it was people in the back seat too. And she was at the car door, like she was standing outside of their car. So I have um, what is it called? Like the remote start. So I I was starting my car. Like you click the button, you click like two buttons. So the first button that I that I click, my lights will flash, and then the third button I click, it actually cut my car on. So when I was clicking the buttons. The first two buttons in my light, my light flashed, so that caught, kind of caught their attention. So they all looked at me as I'm approaching my car. And then my car, by the time I got there, my car had already started. So they were looking at me. And um, and so somebody somebody in the back, somebody in the car that she, that she had went to, somebody was like, see, I to- told you what he say. Told, told you she, she started her car. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna read y'all it, and then she started staring with this stank look on her face, and then she whispered some. Well, she didn't whisper it to them, but she whispered something to them. So I opened the door to get some out of the car, and then I went to the other girl's car who who I was walking with. So as I'm walk as I'm leaving, I locked my car because I seen them. But I'm, as I'm leaving, I saw them like going towards my car. So I locked my car, and um, I heard somebody suck their teeth. So once I'm coming back to the car, I got in the car um, after leaving the other girls other girl I came back to my car and I started to back out to leave and then they started trying to block me from from leaving so they're like is people like in standing behind my car trying to block me from pulling out and there's people coming up like running up on a car I was just composed or whatever I'm just sitting here like okay and then so 
some man came over and I can't remember if he was like a teacher or principal, if he was like um, a police officer or he was some like authority figure. So this, some man came over and he was letting him know, like he was, he started yelling, he was like, stop, cut it out, cut it out, stop. And he was t- telling them like, if they kept it up, they was going to get in trouble. Like it was going to be consequences. And so the girl, my, my king's spouse's counterfeit, she said, shut up and, and more vocal words she told him to shut up and she said i'll and she was like i'll f you up and then so we threatened him and then i woke up after that first of all i was just more so still baffled at that at her saying that like but then so i prayed over it and i was and i started like i sat up and i was just laying you know sitting here in the bed and then it kind of came to me it was like the fact that this man was was an authority figure but that was represent, representing god that him him literally saying t- telling him to stop and he was yelling at them like he came over there and he was telling them to stop it was God warning them either he just warned them if you got if you guys are in this situation where you're aware of who, who, who your spouse you're aware of their kind of fit they you know who they are they know who you are um and they have been trying to okay let me let me start over so the car represents my ministry and it's not just this ministry on here your ministry your ministry is and this is what i'm talking about in the extended video but your ministry is um whatever whatever your anointing is whatever your 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 purpose is your calling is that's your ministry so for one the fact that the boy one of her friends in the car said see i told you she she started her car but and then when i'm trying to leave they're trying to block me so like and it's not just like I like I said in other videos, and like you you will hear other um, voices on here t- talking about kingdom marriages. That is a part of your ministry. They are a uh, God ordained, so there is going to be a part of your ministry. Um, so l- the fact that she is his counterfeit, that's her whole. That's that was that's what she was doing. Her blocking my car, trying trying to you know leave, trying I mean trying to block me from leaving. And the man coming over telling him, you need to stop, you know, you're, there's going to be consequences if you don't stop. That was God a warning that these people, her and these people um, who are trying to block you in your in your, in your ministry, in your kingdom, in your kingdom marriages. If there are people who, who are trying to block you, whether it's your um, a counterfeit from a counterfeit from you or a counterfeit from your spouse and they're they know exactly what they're doing like they're they're intentionally doing stuff to keep you guys apart they've been warned and he's not kidding we 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 remember we have to remember they're not coming against us they're coming against god when when god already ain't something is going to happen so they're trying to delay something they're trying they're working against him they're trying to keep they're trying to keep something from happening that he said is going to happen that he wants to happen that he needs to happen for his kingdom so they're at this point they're not coming against me they're not coming against you you're not coming against your, your your spouse they're coming against god and god is going to handle them god is going to contend with contend with them even if it's not people fleshly people it's the enemy period like we we already know we wrestle not against flesh and flesh and blood but the spirit but these people because there are people out here doing these things intentionally doing these things too so those people are working out of that spirit so that is why it is important to keep your marriage even before you're you know, you know there keeping your marriage your marriage covered your spouse covered because sometimes they might not know one one person is going to know more than the other person knows so the one who knows is the one who should be who knows more is the one who should be like you know praying for praying for your marriage covering your marriage covering covering yourself covering your spouse not that these people have power but you know just to for protection of it all and proclaiming and declaring life over these things over your promises oh yes i think that's all i have for this message i was trying to i'm trying not to say on here because i don't want to be like saying the same thing twice from the extent because i know i went more in depth about about like the ministry and stuff like that on the other on the extended but i have to go back and rewatch it to see if i even need to post that one at all or if i just say everything in here but god is that everything i think that's everything that's all i can think of right now if anybody resonates with like this scenario and this situation of people trying to come against any anybody who's intentionally trying to come against your marriage or keep you guys from not from coming together they've been warned
they have been warned. It's not even anything to to constantly be concerned, worried about. Just keep focusing on God. Keep staying stay in the word. Out. Stay in God. Keep your faith strong. Continue to fast. Continue to pray. Continue to press and continue to stand for your marriage. Keep your faith strong because that's the thing too. Some it, it, it the point is to cause confusion, to cause you to dis to lose faith and and your promise and to to basically like not trust your your the other person. So that and for you to have like these negative thoughts or feelings towards them to delay you guys from from coming together. Just don't don't even God sees everything. He knows everything. So it's not even nothing to even worry about. Literally, like it's not to scare nobody. It's not to even worry about because God literally already told them. He already warned them like you're going to be in trouble if you don't stop. And that was their last warning. So just keep that in mind if anybody's going through this type of situation. Um, you guys are more than welcome to email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, loving miracles ministry at gmail.com. You can check that out if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, prayer requests. Um, just email me. I think that's it. So thank you guys for stopping by, watching my channel, tuning in. I pray this message was confirmation to somebody. I pray this message was encouraging to, to, to someone, blessing to anybody. Like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel and i'll be back soon with another for you guys